join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. In this film we visit an island, or they call it an island, but as you can see it's connected via this First World War bridge that we just crossed. We're now on Critch Island in County Donegal, and what's immediately striking about this landscape is how rocky it is. This is one of the main islands of the Rosses, and it takes its name, and Critch, people believe, because it's roughly in the shape of a harp. The word critch, as well as referring to a hillock or hump, and there's plenty of them around here, is also a word meaning a small harp. Of the islands in the Rosses, this is only one of two that are still populated. Aran Moor is the other. Its population has fallen dramatically, like a lot of the remote rural parts of Ireland, as young people move away to find work or go off to university never to return. The population of the island in 1841 was 258, whereas more recently, in 2006, there was only a population of 53 people on the island. This old empty farm building is testament to the exodus of the local population over the years, and there are many more such buildings on the island. The island has a nine-hole golf course and some of the most incredible beaches in all of Donegal. This makes the island a draw for holidaymakers during the summer months, but in winter, this part of Ireland can feel isolated and deserted. This picturesque collection of thatched cottages is purpose-built for tourists. It couldn't be better situated. You get the feeling you're truly on the edge of the world. I've stayed here myself before, and it's such an amazing place to spend a couple of weeks. But the most incredible thing about this island, as I mentioned earlier, is the beaches. Now is the time perhaps to like this video if you haven't already and please subscribe. Your subscription allows us to see that the video is of interest and encourages more similar videos in the future. We're going to visit a beach now that has got to be one of Ireland's best. I think it's possibly privately owned so I'm not going to identify exactly where it's situated but I'm sure if you really wanted to explore the beaches in this island, it wouldn't be too difficult to find this place. As I approach the beach, just appreciate that this is winter, so we don't have a lovely sunny day to showcase this place. But in fact, it doesn't need it. The darker skies and moody light just add drama to this wild place, where barren land meets the wild Atlantic Ocean. Needless to say, all the habitat around here is home to important plant species and has a unique wildlife population. Bear with the shaky camera here, it takes some sure footedness to navigate onto the beach and it would be very easy here for me to go on my ass as I try to concentrate on capturing the beauty of this location. And this beach looks like it hasn't been seen by another human being in ages. The sand is totally untouched. As we circle around, we can see how cocooned we are.
and the few houses that we can see on the headlands. How fortunate those inhabitants must be to have this place to themselves. Although I can imagine this place can also be inhospitable in winter. Perhaps today we're lucky. It's dry and not too windy. It's actually very beautiful and there's something very moving about being here alone with nature. Just look at the colour and the reflection of the sky and the water. Today the white foamy waves are only gently lapping on the sands. Can you imagine being here as a wild Atlantic storm hits land? And as we circle round again to view the beach as the waves might see it, there's not another soul in sight. Only my own footprints in the sand offer any clue to human habitation. A last look from the dunes. And then we retrace our path, recrossing the bridge back to the mainland, back to civilization. Once again, subscribe and feel free to share this video with friends and family. Mm -hmm.